Yeah, pull the cotter pin out. These are Hmm, look like they're. So I've got a uh, grease fitting. I was I was expecting more like a bearing in a race. Okay, so they're just like needle bearing. They're um, let's see. Yep. Ugh. All right. Well. They're open on the inside, so putting grease in there isn't a futile effort. Basically, I'm going to have this dolly with this sitting on top of it like this. See how that looks? Can y'all see that? See how that looks kind of sketchy? So I'm going to put a 2x4 two by 4, two by 4 here and it's going to run across all the way to the other side of the other dolly so to lock these two together. Okay, you can see that's how I'm gonna have this thing set up. Just like this, it's gonna have two two by fours running across here and across here to tie these two together. And then I'll have two by fours going back way to tie the back two together. So what I'm gonna do now is measure this distance, cut the two pieces of wood, screw them down on here, and put the jacks on. Be right back. Okay, hopefully now you can get an idea of what I was talking about. This is all tied together. And then I'm going to take this thing and give it a shot, see what happens. There. Now that is that is on there solid. Okay, I got the second one built. But you can see I kind of designed myself in a jam here because if you look at that jack, I can't let the jack down. It hits that two by four before the axles hit the jack stands. Now I could raise the jack stands, but the problem is that one's broke. So it'll spontaneously drop. This is not permanent. Just on the edge of that trailer hitch, basically where this can drop down. Wood out from underneath the axles. All right. Okay, I finished building my stand, so I got the back down and strapped down, and then I ran these two boards out like that to the two front. So if I'm pushing it when I'm pushing it over this. Uh, lip here at the end of the garage, you know, don't just keep this from folding under.
because this thing's leaking. Not, I don't think the tank's leaking, but the hose is or something. But you can just see how wet it is under there. It's all fuel. What's up? It's leaking. See what happens. Oh, I have a feeling this is gonna suck. It's gonna piss me off. Yeah, it's doing it. Come on. Come on. I don't wanna break it. Now if it's that so good, can it not come out this way? Yeah. Hey, nothing to it. that's exposed and I'm going to try to sand this. Okay, we'll see right now. Alright, so that's where I'm going to leave off today. I'll come back and show you, but oh my god, I can't, this is driving me. <sighs> I'm going to get this crap cleaned up because I can't take this. See ya. Alright, so now that's better. It may look still junky, but now I know where everything is. And that's all the parts taken off of and new parts for the Kubota. Yeah, you can go.